Blue. Let's read! Oh, for fuck's sake, I will kill all of you. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Roll Play! <laughs> But with a different read. campaign. It now just... I see why Nero likes to do this so much. It's so much fun! <laughs> this time with a different campaign, though. Uh, Zombie Cam has kindly decided to uh, take over temporarily as the GM of oh, the uh, of the group uh, while I deal with other bullshit. And he has a game he's been wanting to run for a while. It is set in the My Little Pony universe and features My Little Pony characters but in a slightly different context than you may be used to from the show, because it's one of darkness and evil and, uh, I don't know, like medieval Game of Thronesy bullshit. Point is, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's going to be kind of intense. And very full cool. of intrigue. Uh, so, so anyway. Zombie Cam, why don't you explain the setting, because you know it a lot better than I do, in that you know it and I don't. Okay, so basically this is Equestria Divided, which is the name of sort of the story background that the initial artist made and wrote behind. Um, basically, uh, Celestia and Luna one day disappeared, and all of the ponies went, what the hell is going on? Uh, they realized that the sun and the moon kept moving, even though neither Celestia nor Luna were anywhere to be found. So everyone realized that they'd been lied to their entire lives by the uh, Alicorn sisters. So uh, the main six got into arguments. Twilight was trying to create more Alicorns um, through various magical and non-magical experiments. Uh, and in doing so, she killed Pinkie Pie, injured Rainbow Dash by burning her, uh, and also, I think may have hurt Applejack. Uh, when she attempted the experiment on herself, nothing happened, but basically all of them turned against each other and have now split into six factions. Uh, Fluttershy's faction, which is the Everfree Forest, um, who she intends to spread the Everfree Forest all over Equestria. Um, Rainbow Dashes... Uh, and, and like she's like a bunch of refugees like and stuff. Like her, her faction yeah. is mostly made up. Yeah, the up refu like... Yeah, they became feral and became sort of one with the forest sort of thing. Yeah. Um Twilight is magic. Um they're very powerful but not super they haven't got great numbers. Um Rarity is more mil uh mercenary, so she'll she buys out Secrets and she like undermines the big uh, and stuff. merchant empire with lots of yeah. nobility and high uh, paid like, um, individuals and stuff. Yeah, uh, Applejack's civilization is massive. Uh, they use physical brute force and some ranged tactics in order to fight. And they're kind of like the Roman Empire. They're just sort of like expanded yeah. everywhere and are. Uh, also, Applejack's territory serves between uh, to stop the majority of the Everfree Forest from spreading, and also stops the Wasteland, which is where the three uh, Changeling Queens live with, obviously, their Changeling armies. Uh, yeah. So. And then Rainbow uh, Dash is doing what? Uh, Rainbow Dash is at the top. Um, she intends to take over Equestria again. Um and sort of have it under military control until the return of the rightful rulers, uh, as it was in the times before the two Alicorn princesses. So she's sort of like a... She, she's a little bit like the uh, like the uh, Enclave from Fallout in some ways. Yeah. Just yeah. Crazy militarist. And then Pinky is dead, but oh, yes, so, not yeah. really? Uh, well, no in one way. really knows. Pinky died, but then her sarcophagus was stolen... Uh, from the mausoleum, and there is now a cult following her and a strange deity called the Laughing Mare, which could be an embodiment of Pinkie Pie, it could be Pinkie Pie's ghost, it could be... Pinkie Pie's um, corpse being just... puppeted by something else, but... Yeah. Uh, Whatever it is, it, it could be... looks a bit like Pinkie and is running a fucking evil cult. Yeah, uh, and the evil cult is pretty much everywhere. Yeah. And you so cannot run for the hills. Not... <laughs> yeah. And then all the other races are kind of like outside of Equestria, but getting restless because should be going crazy, yo. 
Yeah, the griffins are above the uh, beyond the mountains, up north of the map. Um, there are zebras in the desert down to the south, and zebras to the um, west behind the Everfree Forest. And then buffaloes are kind of doing their thing. Yeah, they're sort of part of uh, the Applejack now, Applejack land. Cool. <laughs> I'll have more reason to be part of the Applejack territory. So why don't we go over our characters then, now we've established the setting... And then, Zombie Cam, you can take us away with the uh, with the start of the game and the premise and stuff. Yep. So, uh, some... who Ooh, I mean, I mean... would like to go first? Introduce yourself, as well as, you know, obviously put a, a, uh, a name to the face, because we often get new people with the start of new series. So, uh -huh. why don't we begin with... Uh, oh, hell, I'll, I'll, I'll just introduce people via the uh, where they are on Skype for me. So, first, Hair. Hey, children, it's Herofotsek recording live from the scenic Key Biscayne. You don't yeah. need to get into that much detail. Just yeah. your name and your character and what your character is all about. Okay, so I am playing Skyline, and he is a Pegasus who is part of House Stormwing, which is Rainbow Dash's house. And essentially, he's a cowardly cleric. Fair so enough. he's pretty easily spooked by a whole lot of things but he's also fairly faithful so there you go i'm gonna take notes on everybody's names just because it's a useful thing to do okay and he is so skyline because everybody loves cincinnati style chili right all right so you're skyline cincinnati weirdo <laughs> well excuse me princess no uh, you're not excused g money introduce yourself and also your character And you You're are incredibly quiet, quiet. Yeah. Turn up your volume. Better. Like, a lot. I have a shitty mic. What else is new? Alright, any better? A little bit? Some, a little bit, somewhat. not much, though. How about that? That's much better. Yeah, it's much better. Go for it. Awesome. It's G-Money. Um, I didn't think of a name for my character yet, so we'll work on that later. Okay. Um, but I am a zebra from the house of whatever Fluttershy's thing is, because that's Everybody. where a lot of the zebras are. There's like a zebra war camp, so, and it's basically yeah. a zebra cleric. All right. Who's who's not a coward or a bastard? Okay, fair enough. Making uh, note: not a coward or bastard. Very good. Um, Nira, <laughs> sorry, uh, Time Knight. Sorry, you're first. Uh, Time Knight. Um... I know Let's your character see. isn't done yet, but uh, have you given not, a name? Not done yet. I'm. TBA. Um. Let's see. I'm. Um. I. Hey, this is Time Knight, and um, I am uh, playing a. A um, a changeling from the Chrysalis Hive. Okay. And I think I'm going to be going to name him like something like. Thorax or something like that. Thorax, okay. Thorax. And I haven't got a class yet. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, Nero, who are you? Hello, friends. My name is Nero. What it do? My character is, once again, the lovable Victor Sentry. Oh, my God. However, oh, this time he is uh, going college? to go in with different characteristics because instead of being a kinetic god, he's going to be a really big necromancer. But uh, he's not, he's going to kind of try and, you know, not do that. So, in other words, he has some, he's completely messed up in the head, though. He's all messed up. He is seriously messed up. Like, he is incredibly cruel. He has in, just, like, really weird messed up delusions because he's all messed are up are you sure he's not from Pinkie Pie's thing <laughs> that's not oh like a cult of laughter God. person he doesn't belong to any of the houses and he has learned to basically he's learned to be uh, really good with a sword and such Intimidating people with a sword, slashing people with a sword, raping people with a sword, That's... killing people with a sword. Okay. What race were you again, sir? Pillaging. Uh, unicorn. As necromancer. So. 
Or you don't have to be to be the necromancer. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a necromancer, necromancer and you're not part of the cult of laughter? Really? That makes, hey, makes... that makes two of us, so shut up. <laughs> yeah, but he's like a crazy evil now. necromancer. He's like literally well, the type yeah. of person that they'd be falling over backwards trying to recruit. Perhaps we can say that he's a cult wannabe and they're just refusing to. They <laughs> yeah. don't want someone as he, crazy he as the, him. He's the Jared Leto Joker. <laughs> Actually, so much... I wouldn't really say I'm a wannabe at it. <laughs> or maybe they want him and he just isn't interested. That'd be funny. Uh, no, that's funnier. Like he's ego. just like, no, guys, but seriously, look at me. I'm super evil, and I do necromancy. And they're like, no, Man, it's not funny enough. <laughs> and, then raise, funny. and then I raise, and then I raise a bunch not of funny. the dead and send them, and they, they just they, run I mean, in, would, shouting, would, would, would rape do? the houses, like, burn the water, poison the women, and, and then they summon um, a dead aliform, yeah. and they send that at you, because they are much better at this than you are. They and then the or they take control they of your undead for you and send them back. Yeah, the cult of laughter and is then like, I yeah, yeah, you're, you're pretty bad, but, yeah, but it's kind of like, when we do it, it's funny. You're Jeffrey Dahmer, they are Nazi Germany. You can be bad, <laughs> you're not as bad as them. Oh my, no. They are the fucking evil psychopathic oh necromancers who stole God. Pinkie Pie's corpse and turned it into a lich. Like, they Jesus are Christ. fucking nutso. No, no, the, the, the deity was there before oh, yeah, they well, were visited by the it, Joffrey. Man before they stole the body. Point is, they're evil motherfuckers. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, moving along. Uh, what's Applejack's group again? Uh, House, House Earthborn. All right, House Earthborn. So I'm Duhod, obviously, and I'm going to be a member of House Earthborn because I'm going to be playing the baddest motherfucker in character in this group. See, oh while God. you little pansies run around with your cleric magic and your stupid necromancy and your changeling, shapey shifty, you know, cowardly bullshit, I'm going to be going. You are learning how to conquer galaxies? No, I'm just going then straight on, full muscles Boy, everywhere. Because I'm playing a mind. big buffalo. And you know me because I've been going around the circuit right now. You know, all around Clan Earthborn, you know, proving the full strength of my power and entertaining the crowds as the greatest wrestler that has ever lived, the Iron Chief. Wow, you must be Iron Will's cousin. Burn. No, no, no Iron Will's a minotaur. Yeah, no, also... Uh, they must have had, like, a weird I'm family. entirely missing the reference. Uh, no, no, no! Yeah. It, I, I get the reference. Yeah, we because he's going to break our break yeah, our to, backs and make us humble. And make you humble. He's gonna make us I go really back. Hurt to, he's gonna have, take like, us back to the past. Skills, so you'll just be like the oh, best. Oh no, I do. I, ha I took I acting. You, have, like, you, okay, you better okay, believe good. I took acting. <laughs> oh, M.A. Larson's going to be an Everfree no Northwest special guest now. Oh, nice. Yes, she's also going to be in he, BronyCon, but who cares? Um, does everyone have a I do, dice roller? because I am able to get one free. I am able to get one free out of All right, let's dice. do this. Let's role play. Uh, Zombie cam. Let's read. Okay. Yes, right. Um, so, uh, you also have the map now, Duhon, just so you know. Okay. Just cool. download that right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I finally got uh, a name for myself. Sorry. You all, you can all, all come up with uh, different backstories if you like. But for any of you that can't be bothered or can't think of another reason that you'd be here, you've all been contacted by some sort of uh, super, uh, some greater power. It could be some sort of god, or it could be someone who's super powerful with their magic, or it could just be some sort of uh, fluke. You've just been pulled, you've been drawn to Red Heart's Refuge in search of something in the general area. At Red Heart's Refuge is in the middle of the neutral territory that is in the middle of the map. Um, it was a refugee camp uh, that was sort of set up by Red Heart, the nurse from Ponyville. Um, and it sort of develops into a bit more of a town. So during times of war, it becomes a refugee camp where they house people in the buildings and try to feed as many people as they can. During times of peace, it is just a simple town. Uh, farming village 
Um, there is a tavern and an inn in the, uh, t- a tavern that serves as an inn in the town. Um, not really any weapon shops or armor shops. Uh, they have focused more on uh, things they need to survive rather than. Very briefly, I will bring up the map so yeah. the people at home can see what we're talking. Uh, see the map. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, nice. So you all, it is getting close to night time. Um, you've all come into the inn, uh, whatever reason, uh, to have a night's sleep and some tea. Right, here Red Heart Refuge. Okay. So yeah, right in the yeah, middle uh, of the areas. My guy would go more for cider because he's a frequent I'm drinker of that. Yeah, I alcoholic mean, I mean cider. dinner tea. Dinner tea. Yeah, okay. Because you're um, okay, um, I would go with supper. Cheese. Weird well, you can drink whatever you like. I would probably. Well, my character would go with tea. I'll guzzle okay, all day. Um, Oh, okay. Okay, I, I can't, can't, do, like, I can't change... do the murder face voice. I suck at life. Oh, <laughs> so, is there anything that any of you would like to do? I uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna sorry, just sorry, get sorry, a drink sorry. and just sit down in like the middle of uh, like the like the most centralized point in the entire tavern. Yeah. I just think <laughs> I'm okay. just gonna sit there and be like, um, uh, uh, uh. I'm. I would order a mug of cider and sit down in a corner and look observantly. I assuming we're already doing that, though. Well, I basically just being a bitch. I basically <laughs> just sit at the bar while drinking the cider, <laughs> so I can get refills constantly. Your mouth is just on the on the thing that makes the pours of cider. It's on the tap. <laughs> Just yeah, Brandon, it. where would you be sitting? I I don't know since I stick out like a sore thumb and I'm basically <laughs> I don't know. Nobody likes me. Sorry, are I you am... in changeling form or have you changed into something else? Um, does that require like you can dice? you can probably shape shift it well. I'm just uh yeah, I am uh I am shape shifted into generic brown Earth pony, our class, <laughs> cutie mark. Because people would probably be trying to kill you if. Uh, generic pony. They knew that you were a changeling. D- Doctor, I yeah, because... generic back room, ground pony. Also, I would just add um, the changelings do go into other territories disguised as people as spies. Mm. So yeah. perhaps, perhaps Brandon's character could be a spy that went into one of the towns and realized that it was so much nicer than where he lived that he wanted to live there instead. Yeah, I, 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 I'm thinking spy. like I might. I, I'm thinking some of the, something like that. I think I might be be um, working for um, uh, Fluttershy's um, the refugees, faction. Refugees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they I are might be like a giant refugee camp. Yeah, since I'm working like for uh, Chrysalis's, I'm from Chrysalis's hive, and that's kind of the way that I see it. I. That's kind of falling apart, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Or you could be from rarities if you got paid a lot of money. There are also different types of changeling in this universe. Um, oh. But we can go into okay, that later. Then. For now, you just for now you you can just be generic. I am uh, just. Change. I am, I am just now generic, horse, dude. <laughs> <laughs> of course. There you go. I oh. am. I am. I am. I don't know. <laughs> you are nice. horse horsington. Normal I horse. horse, horse. I, am, I am normal horse. I am here oh. to do you. Do this thing you. I am, I am here, here to, to do through. horse things. I am here to do that too. I am okay, here so to you're... kick ass and chew hay. So there are six tables. Um, G is sitting in the corner. Hare is sitting up against the wall in one of them. Um, Nero is sitting at the bar, though. Duhard is sitting in the most centralized table, looking pretty proud of himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Brandon <laughs> is sitting on the table opposite Duhard. Is there anything uh, you would like to do? Occasionally, I just like twitch. 
just twitch. I, I just twitch. I'm just gonna go ahead and look around at everyone a little scared because he doesn't know know quite what to make of them. Nerd. So. Um, well, actually, more it's because hey, guess who has paranoid again? Hello, large again? buffalo. Is that? Hello, large buffalo creature. I, I, I slowly turn my head to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my guy is now. Keep in mind when when you're talking about Hector, he is huge. Like he is. I'm just going. Uh, normally, I don't use stats to you know like to, I don't like to talk about character stats, but I just want to kind of give you a feel for him. He has six strength and five okay. constitution. He is a oh, beefy Jesus. motherfucker. Jesus. So, like, when he sits at he's the table, he's basically taking up about half the table while sitting in the middle. So he's, like, the, there's a little bit of room on either side of him, but he's just this giant bulk of meat sitting at the center of the table, eating, and just looking over at you. Yeah. <laughs> so there. you're pretty terrified right now. <laughs> You well, I'm just sitting here quaking in my boots while watching that. <laughs> it's like, oh no, something's gonna happen. So it starts grinding his teeth. Came over and sat next to me. <laughs> I'm sure there's something you want. <laughs> uh, nice day it is having for a normal pony thing. Yes. Yep. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> nice day. Do you have, what's your character's um, willpower, perception, and IQ as well? Uh, okay, his uh, willpower is three, his perception is three, and his intelligence is two. So okay. he's, he's <laughs> averagely intelligent, <laughs> above average perception and willpower, but his big thing is that he's gigantic and strong. Part of which comes from him just being a buffalo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he is also, just as some important notes for you as a GM, uh, things you should be aware of. He does have a bit of status uh, because he is well known for his wrestling. He is wealthy. Yep, yep. Uh, he is very charismatic and fairly attractive, uh, but obviously being a buffalo, he's a minority uh, outside of uh, the Apple lands. He is honorable, reckless, and a show-off. Again, all right. fitting into the fact that he is a wrestler. Also, while I'm at it, um, I just thought, how... Um, have any of others of you put any like uh, quality points for money into your character? Um, mine's average wealthy. Okay. So he's not super um, poor, but he's not like because <laughs> you don't really need a lot of money to live where he lives, anyways. Right. So he's averagely wealthy. Hey, anyone else? Uh, uh, I didn't yeah. add any levels, but something I might want to note is that my guy uh, is kind of like the emotionally unstable guy that like has the awkward twitch and the cracking voice. Fair enough. Oh, you so all sound like that character at this point. <laughs> yeah, really. All right, right? So... Yeah, but I mean, my guy has a cruel of level three, so he's going to show it. Okay, so he is, he is an unrepentant and incredibly obvious sociopath. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, I look over at Thorax and just like, you came over to talk to me. Come on. Spit yeah. it out. <laughs> oh, I had not planned anything. This guy oh leans over God. on the I table. Planned, so You're a pretty normal-looking pony. Yes, a normal pony in a normal pony town with <laughs> multiple normal pony needs. Indeed. I know all about normal pony needs. <laughs> I come from a That's place where there's a lot of ponies. I'm used to dealing with them by now. Are you guys like going on a you... date or something? Because <laughs> <laughs> I am not sure if my pony, if this normal <laughs> pony is into this. So, what brings a normal pony like you all the way out here? <laughs> okay. I am here for. Same, same as you for normal pony stuff like drinking normal pony drinks and <laughs> things. And then my character is just like he starts muttering, "He's lying! He's lying! He's lying!" Uh... So normal pony things. <laughs> what kind of normal pony things are you doing? Um, 
normal pony things like frolicking. Frolicking? <laughs> Not a lot of ponies going around frolicking these days. War uh, has taken a lot of the joy out of life for many ponies. And I sort of like slap a giant hoof on the back of your back. It's good to see some people can still enjoy themselves. Yes. Yes. The yes. simple things in life are often forgotten in these times of hardship. Oh if only God. more people were like you, there'd probably be less fighting and more frolicking. This is true. Hmm. My character <laughs> kind of, because it seems that Duhat's character has a loud voice. Yeah, he's, he's, really up, he's really big boomy. Kind of looks up and goes, hmm, and decides to walk over. Doesn't say anything, though. He just kind of sits down. How about I buy you a drink? What are you drinking? He looks up at the new arrival. And you too! I'm in a good mood. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, um, I'm okay I with this. Just... I'm just sitting here drinking my tea. Don't hurt me. My exoskeleton. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll definitely take some cider. Take. <laughs> at this Marky! point, there's a couple I'm of other. Cider. There's a couple of others in the uh, tavern, and they've sort of uh, looked around at this strange buffalo and these strange other people that are strangers. These people seem to live here. Yeah. They seem to be commoners, um, and they just sort of quickly choke down their drinks and rush out of the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Anyone oh, shit, who wants to down. drink with the Iron Chief, come on up. I'm buying. <laughs> My character just you slowly are and as iron steadily chief. as he can walks iron up chief. with just an occasional twitch of the eye. Iron just... Chief. Yeah, I don't really mind. Like... Well, friend. I would I just my power iron chief. into my seat. Like, More time. oh god, don't hurt me. I wouldn't mind a free drink. Excellent. Now look over to you. Little friend, you seem like you're trying to say something. What is Wait. it? Uh, don't hurt me. Not you. <laughs> this one, I slap a little mm, back mm, on mm. Time Knight's uh, uh, back. Oh, sorry. You I, seem I like you, want, you had something on your mind. <laughs> oh my, <God. laughs> my mind. Oh my God. That's right. Speak was... to your mind. You're among friends. No, never mind. Never mind. I didn't mean to say anything. Secrets are not oh. something that great friendships keep. But all right, <laughs> I look over to. Uh, and I said nothing. To to uh, mm -hmm. ty uh, sorry to hair hair's oh, character oh, is yeah. skyline. You, most fucking yeah. little buddy, you thought you could interrupt me. Why? <laughs> 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 Please. You wanna come over here right now? I'm giving out free drinks! Oh my come on! God. No! No! Please, no! There's nothing to be a friend of! Grab you and Just a bunch of normal ponies and a buffalo, people. sharing drinks me, and friendship. You need to interrupt me and not get involved hey, in the conversation! I am a zebra. What do you come over to then? All Are zebras you not ponies? All you yes. and free drinks on me! Uh, um, <laughs> thanks? Oh, I guess. So you don't want it. If we go by out of world, no. If we go by in world things, I'm not sure okay. how we go about that. So I, I, I thought they were different. Hmm. They're just ponies from Africa, if you look at it the MLP way. Yeah, pretty much. Which is really racist. Yeah, it could be kind of racist. Um, There's nothing serving wrong. Serving lady comes out from behind the bar. And she walks up to you and she says, uh, Sorry, but my boss has asked me to just ask you, uh, could, could you please keep it down a bit, please? I apologize. <laughs> I didn't mean we shall to get return you to trouble. A, we shall return to a normal level of talking for normal ponies. Iron Chief will keep it down. Okay, good. Please um, do. I don't I, want to... I, I, I can't oh. to look for it. Oh, fuck. I'm there. Um, um, while I'm while I'm here, um, do any of you want any drinks or anything, perhaps? Oh yeah, everybody, feel free to order. It's on me. Mm -hmm. um, I hear hear that the cider here is delicious. <laughs> I shall have that. 
I'll take a refill on my cider as well. Please. I'll have water. <laughs> Just so make some we'll, notes down we'll on a piece of paper. Cider. I'll have <laughs> water. That would be nice. nice. I'm just what gonna take I... a tea, please. She writes it all down and nods and runs back off into behind the bar. That is one thing. That so, Twishy! You seem like you've got something on your mind. Like you're nervous about something. You've been Twitchy. twitching ever since you came over. Care to share? <laughs> With this twitchy person. I'd be uh, near up. So... Mm -hmm. uh, Victor, I've been smiling the whole time. Why do you think something's bothering me? Mostly just the oh. way your body language is. Iron Chief knows how people think and act. <laughs> and you're acting in a way that's a bit nervous. Do you I are not you acting nervous, like a normal pony. Buddy? A normal pony, like me. Normal pony. Mm -hmm. I'm just a scared Norm pony right now. No need to be nervous around the Iron Chief. Uh, whatever you say. Iron that is what I say. It's nothing. I, I, I'm perfectly fine. Now, I'm glad to hear that then. You yeah, seem nervous, but if you're fine, that's mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> How could I be nervous? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of wonderful things in life. Yep. There and really there are... is. Are you on crack? What's crack? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've heard many I, I, a crack I, in my day, but I've never <laughs> taken it. Oh my god. Is the plot going to show up anytime soon? <laughs> This is getting awkward. I'm just letting you guys. I'm just letting you guys go because you seem to be doing pretty well. <laughs> I, I turn. I turn. I turn to Time Knight's character, and I haven't been doing it, but I, I should have an accent. I just can't develop an accent. And I don't want to sound racist, so I'm trying to not be racist. Go on, just do it. Just do um, it. <clears throat> uh, go ahead. Go ahead. It's fine. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> Probably if you want to mute, mute to yourself, you can, and then come back when you've got a full thing. It doesn't have to, like, I'm playing a character who in show universe is, like, supposed to be ethnically Native American. Obviously, you don't have to do a voice that is exactly what the show implication is. Oh, that makes it easier. But, um, I turned to, I turned to Time Knight, and I'm like, you seem awfully sketchy for, for an awful, for this here um, normal pony that you speak of. You sure what? you're normal, all right? No, well, He's not lying. normal. That that He's would be lying. ridiculous. Not normal. I am a normal pony. I, I am. Four hooves. I have cutie mark. I am pony. Normal ponies don't keep talking about being normal. <laughs> Right. Then I shall stop about talking about about being normal. Now, what do <laughs> I shall talk about things that normal ponies talk about? <laughs> I'm telling you, this pony is not normal. Mm -hmm. There's something a little bit weird about you. We're all a little weird. Tell me something, <laughs> friends. Weird that guy. Is he the most <laughs> weird? Don't really Every seem like the locals. Like joke came to visit. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna kill my throat. It's seems like you folks aren't really normal. The, the folks, the locals around here seem like they all pushed off. Didn't want to hang out with the Iron Chief. So, are all you from outside uh, Red Hearts refugee? Uh, are are from uh, Red Hearts refugees either? Refuge. And refuge. Refuge. Either. Well, I'm not from the refuge. Really? Not technically. I mean, I got called in to Where do, do you a... hail from? Uh, I'm of the Northern Expanse, I? Northern Expansion, eh? Hmm. Uh, the uncharted territory yeah. up there. Because it seems to... Oh, no. 
I no, see. no, I I live in one of the storms. Say that again. You uh, broke up. I see. Uh, I'm in one of the Stormwing settlements up there. Ah, uh, really? <clears throat> Bit oh. far south for one There's of you a... featherheads, aren't you? Uh, maybe, but, but it, it, it's nice. And mm-hmm. I'm sure. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. We're open At this point, it's been about. Sorry, it's been about three minutes since all the others left. Yeah. Maybe five. Um. And suddenly the clock has ticked over and there's been a loud dong and uh, the barman and all that, they rush behind and sort of close up the doors and look a bit worried. And it's gotten dark outside also. They don't look scared, they just look a bit worried. What is going on? The clock. The The clock has fallen. Uh, Something that is not normal. Close this early. Why is everybody um, What's going on? I asked you a question, bar owner. None of what's the bars are he, he peeks out he peeks on from out from behind the door and he says I you should you should get behind your rooms. You paid for them. This is a good time. None of the bars anywhere else between here and Dragon Cemetery. Close anywhere near this early. What's going on? You're you're creeping me out, man. He says, I tried to make you go to your rooms. If you don't, it's your own fault. The Iron Chief goes to his room when he decides he wants to go to his room. You hear a knock on the door. I also shall shall retire for, for the sleeping... As you move off up to the stairs, which lead upstairs, which uh, is where the rooms are, you hear a knock on the door. A very loud knock on the door. You expecting more guests? Innkeeper? He says, uh... No, he, he doesn't say anything. He's completely barred the door now. Completely. Hmm. Hey. The door into the back of the... Uh, yeah. Interesting. I, I, I just... Walk back down and walk over to the uh, the door. Is anyone following, or are you all staying back? I'm just gonna follow because I'm too scared to do anything else. All right. I'll, I'm I'll gonna stay back and I'm right. gonna stay back and continue on my drink. I shall I uh, shall go to to my chambers for to to slumber. All right. And I uh, shall have a pony snooze. <laughs> pony snooze. I like that. And G money. Uh, I'll come up behind you because I'm not afraid of much. Okay. so My I'd, character's kind of stupid. Yeah, walk over to the door go, who's knocking? Um, you hear, <laughs> let us in. We're not the owners of this establishment. So I can't be given, I can't let you in on my own. But what do you want? Okay. I can talk to the owners for you. That doesn't sound good. Um, he Works says, true. I wish to speak to Skyline. Skyline? Oh. Any of you run to Skyline? No, Hare's <laughs> name is Skyline, he said. Yeah, yeah no, I, I know. I, I, I know that Hare's okay. actually Skyline. I'm yeah. saying in character, because I don't know he's Skyline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any of you Skyline? Yeah. Hoofy, hoof, hoof. <laughs> And I'm just like, I'm, I'm just sitting here. there not saying a thing. I, I, I kind of point the door. McDonald's. Someone's here to talk to you. So, sorry, your know, character like, is a coward, is he? Yeah, I, my character is a coward. Okay, he also well. has a paranoid, and he's coward level two. So, that means I get extra willpower rolls. Well, okay. Fuck that. Um, the knock at the door. This time, the door uh, breaks. Like, the hinges break, but they don't. It doesn't fully open. Like <laughs> That's public property you're breaking. Private property you're breaking. I mean, well, also, I'm just 
You better step around, around in there, buddy. We've got your man in here, but we're not going to let him... We're not going to put up with this sort of behavior. I turn around to face the door and uh, prepare to uh, yank my sword out of its sheath. And I'm just you hear the voice. Sh shivering um, behind. This time it's a different voice, but it's got the same sort of... Um, it's talking in the same manner, but it's got a different... Obviously from a different person. Yeah. And it says... We wish to speak to Victor Century. Well, you don't have to bust down the door to do that. Who the hell is Victor Century? The mm -hmm. door. They, this There's time they start the door. They've obviously <laughs> kicked the door, and the door begins to splinter. Splinters fly out of the door towards you. And then my many a man. Stand back! Yes. We're opening the door. There's many a man and mare that would like to speak to me with choice words. Normally, they don't live long enough to say anything. Uh, I just roll my eyes and go over and start unbarring the door. Oh, um, you open I'm up the door. Stupid idea. And they don't, you don't hear anything from the other side of the door anymore. So when you open it... Yeah. Uh, so you fully open it? Yeah, I don't care. I'm just opening the door straight up. Okay. <laughs> You see three, uh, uh, two earth ponies and a pegasus all standing in the doorway. Uh, the pegasus is between the two earth ponies, and they're looking... Their eyes have completely glazed over. Uh, their manes are rough, rough messes, covered in dirt. Uh, and they have rather creepy looks on their faces. Yeah. Oh dear. I just look straight at them and say, "You owe this, you owe this establishment a new door. Hope you're willing to pay up." Oh, yeah. These guys don't look normal. The eyes are tainted. I don't care what they're tainted with. Nobody breaks down the door of an inn that the Iron Chief is staying in and doesn't what? pay for it. Please stop. I think you might get yourself killed there, partner. You can talk to the people you want to talk to. Yes. You're gonna pay back what you owe. Um, they say, We wish to... Sp all at the same time now. We wish to speak to the Iron Chief. We're doing it, buddy! <laughs> and now Yay. they are advancing I'm on I'm glad you. they don't know and my name. <laughs> please roll initiative. All right. Okay. Oh, Initiative no. is what again? Uh, dexterity plus a d10. And All right, fast dexterity. reaction time, you get to add plus five. Oh, what? You get fast yeah, reaction time, you get plus five. Okay, so... Oh, damn, I got a three. Okay, I got ten initiative. Uh, plus dexterity plus five? Uh, no, plus five if you have fast reaction time. Yeah, I know. I have fast reaction time, yeah, so plus 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 D10, plus 5. Oh. Okay, so I get 10. Oh my god. Total of 10? Yeah, total yeah. of 10. Oh my god, I have so Who got the highest then? Just type, type all your numbers into the uh, chat, you know. Alright. So, what did everyone get? Hold on. Eleven. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Who has yeah, their yeah. who has their phone notifications on for Skype? I think that would be me. Sorry. Damn it, time night. I just uh, so. Uh, time night. Why haven't you ro rolled for initiative? Because I died. My character's not complete. It is also oh, not right. there. So we have a ten. A... I am oh, in my okay. room. So you you, you oh, run right. off to your room then. Quote unquote. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. I am sleeping in the traditional he is sleeping pony as a pony. The two hard goes first, then G Money, and then Nero and I somehow. Wait, well, actually, we need to find out when the uh, the monsters go. Yeah, the monsters. Um, we are we still fun. using rolls? We're roll still using D ten. Yeah. Okay, because I could probably find the room we were. In. It's fine. Fine. Use whatever roll system you want to find, use. Like a... Need to find so, uh, one of those yeah, zombie cam. Character sheets. Yeah, sorry. Do, do the uh, monsters go first? Uh, no, you go first. 
Okay. What's the closest one? Uh, the one in the middle, which is the Pegasus. Okay. You know those fancy wings of his? Oh, they're coming no. Coming off? Yeah. No, they're not coming off. They're going in. Oh! oh no! <laughs> I'm going Dude, to try and grapple pants. him. That is so brutal. Uh oh. So I uh, roll a. That's here. Uh, I'm going to try and just like grapple him and just like squeeze damn him it. Uh, with pure strength. So God damn it, Harlow. <laughs> my, my grab I'm is going, go going to be a. Uh, for my grab, I roll a. Uh, ah, below. 17. Uh, 17 to uh, my grapple. Right, and so, what does he roll for that again? Uh, he'd probably want to roll either a dodge or a brawling to try to counter it. Unless he has a weapon out, in which case he needs another weapon to try and counter it. But basically, he's either going to try and parry it, like kind of like get it away with a weapon thing, or actually with, with the grapple, he's probably just going to try and either dodge out of the way or wrestle back. So, dexterity plus God damn it, God whatever nice. skill yeah. uh, is most appropriate. Um, His he rolls... Yeah, okay, you you managed to grapple him. Okay, and then I'm just going to try and crush him with my strength. So, I uh, wanted to roll, uh, a, a make that a, a roll, or do you want to just do, like, a straight strength damage? Like, what, how do you want to uh, do this? Uh, roll 1d... Well, I mean, like, do you want four. me to roll a strength test, or do you want me to, like, versus his, to uh, like, versus his constitution, say? I just do straight strength. Right, the straight strength? Okay, so do you want me to roll something for that, or just want me to do however much my strength is as damage? Uh, 1d4 plus strength. Okay. Uh, plus strength or time strength? Because punching someone is uh, two times strength. Dude, I can get a Call of Cthulhu dice set. Yeah, do oh. the punch damage. Do punch damage. Okay, I so 1d4 time strength is... Uh, plus damage. So I do... Let's see here. You should play Cthulhu Wars. Oh, and because I'm, I have martial arts as my skill, as opposed to brawling, I get to add my martial arts to damage. But I'm going to say <laughs> that happens after the multiplayer, not before. Uh, so 12, 18, uh, 23. Okay. So I, I, like, just grab him, pull him into a hug, and then just... Yes, he does not look well, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm going to make him humble. Also worth noting, he is carrying a pipe. Um, and the other two, one of them is carrying a small knife, and the other one is carrying a broken bottle. All right. Just to note. Goddamn helicopter. Yeah. Um, okay, next. <laughs> Eat a dick. Next on the list is G-Money. All right. Um, I pull out a dagger and um, lunge at one of them. Which one? There are three. I um, if you you could try and go for the one that is being hugged to death by uh, uh, Iron, Iron Chief. Chief, or you could go for one of the other two. I'm gonna go for one of the other ones so that I don't get hit in the back or something by one of them, because <laughs> that okay. would happen. <laughs> Um, a small knife or the one carrying a broken I, bottle. First, I could literally get a pound. The one carrying the broken pound. bottle makes sense. Okay. I get dice a pound heavy. Uh, roll. Go with the broken bottle. So what am I? Roll to hit him. Um, so one d ten plus. Uh, dex. Plus any uh, mm -hmm. knife skills Let's or anything see. that you have hand to hand. Sorry, hand weapons, mm. yeah. Okay. Trying to find... Trying to find my... Find a good character ship thing. Character ship. I rolled a 10. After everything. So uh, a total of 10? Total of 10. 
Oh, okay, man. he manages to successfully dodge out of the way of your knife lunge. Shit. <clears throat> uh, and lunch. now it is Nero's turn. Or oh, Hare's right. turn. You both rolled the same, so you can discuss between each other who wants to go first. Okay, okay so, hold on, I need to get him on. Well, I have to make a willpower test for now, right? Sure. Okay, so, hold on. Okay, so Nero, do you want to go first, or should I go first? If you can't uh, decide, you can roll a dice. Or, uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll go first. Okay. So, I am going to yank out my sword, and I am going directly just slice one of the pony's legs off. Okay. The front legs. Alright, so it's a targeted attack. Uh, yeah, that's a targeted attack. So that's a, I believe for a leg that's minus two, but if you yep. do more than like seven points of damage, it, you'll probably you break their leg. Okay, so I just rolled um, a ten. So you slice on uh, on my D ten. Which one are you going for? Sorry. A leg. No, oh, which uh, which one? Uh, the uh, the Pegasus that attacked uh, that do hard attacked, or the one with the broken or the small knife. Uh, hmm. Probably I'll go for the one I, I'm not currently grappling cause... Yeah, I'll go yeah. for the one with the small knife Okay Um Should probably try to cut off the leg that's holding the knife Uh, okay Sorry, what did you roll? Uh I rolled a 10 and then a 7, so okay. I'm pretty sure I don't even need to add up my stuff to... Yeah, you hit him. Figure out, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And so... That's a sword, so... <laughs> it's uh, damage on that. I don't... I don't know... Uh. Indeed. Does anybody know the damage on that one? Uh, on what? On a sword. sword. A sword? Uh, it depends on what sword? sword but I think it's a short sword, I'm assuming. Uh, no, it's kind of a medium. Well, like, sword. like th there's a short sword, there's a. A broad long sword, sword, a vast sword, sword, or a great sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a great sword. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. Definitely okay. not a great sword. A great sword is huge. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would probably be like. Hand a broad, a broad sword is kind of like moderate, right? Yeah, well, a broad sword yeah. is, is is broad. It's got a no, wide a blade. A broad sword is pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty heavy to wield. Hold on, um, I'd actually say you probably have a, a short sword, the equivalent short of for a pony. What he's thinking of? Yeah. Well, there's a katana. No, I think I'll. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'll I'll stay out of that because Stick considering the, the technology. Yeah, tr trust me, a short sword may not sound all that impressive. It's pretty decently sized. Yeah, yeah. This is not a like short a little sword is like sword. a pirate sword. Yeah, it's like a cutlass or a machete. I think or... I will actually just go with a broadsword because my guy's a complete psychopath. He's obviously going they to do... choose something huge. Well, actually, like, I'd say to, if you're a complete like psychopath, you then it makes more sense that. that you're using, like, a short sword that you can hide and then just, like, whip out and stab someone with. Yeah, yeah but this guy is intentionally over-the-top cruel. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean most sociopaths try and, like, be stupid. sneaky about it. Anyway, just go with one sword. All right, broadsword. Well, you said you didn't put... Sword. Okay, broadsword. Um, so D6, uh, D... Uh, D8 time strength. Sorry. All right. Assuming just he can lift put it that down. Strength. Well, given his size, he'd probably be at like a minus one for all of his attacks because he's using a weapon that's much Huge. larger than he is. Yeah. Yeah. Because little pony. Yeah, pony right, can't so... carry a weapon that well. Katanas are pretty cool. Katanas it's... are terrible. Well, Shut up. No, so I'm reading like uh... the damage on the oh, katana. Well, yeah, not, no, that the... The... Yeah. not that the actual weapon is yeah. good. It's a total of twelve. Sorry. Trying to figure out how do I how do I make this so that I can write on it. Uh, so on the damage, I I got twelve. Totally. Yeah. Don't katanas either. Good. Yeah. You could use one of your old character sheets, Time Knight, and like take out stuff. 
Carpet yeah, okay. Pete. You successfully, barely, but successfully managed to cut his leg right off. Whoa! Yes. Oh, like right shit. off, or did you like just break it or something? Like if it, if it no, was barely, no, I'd say like, it's probably more like broke. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, he broke. Yeah, yeah, because cleaving so it off. Like, so it's like halfway through the leg. Yeah, like you can't. Yeah, he bone. can't use his leg anymore. His leg is fucked up. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh man, the only one that oh, has which stuff. leg though? Oh my goodness! There's blood everywhere. Which hand are, are you? Like right-handed or left-handed? So it probably whatever I'm, you know. Whichever side I'm you're swinging from. I'm going to go with uh, primarily. I'm going to take my. Right I'm going to redo but, my conspiracy. You know, kind of using my magic to wield it. I, I know, but, I know, but like we're still know. going to say that you probably swung from your dominant hand side because that's yeah, just what so you're used to doing from. from the right side. So it's going to end up being his left leg. Yeah. Okay. So. Is, there you so go. is that his back Hi, leg or his front leg? His, his front, front leg. For, why would he be attacking the back leg if he's attacking from the front? G. Because if I was attacking him from the back, I would literally stick the sword up his... Up his rectum, yeah. Okay, uh, fair enough. Now, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Uh, wait, is it? Is all um, good? where is my... Yeah, it is Hare's it, turn. It is, unless the cha unless the monsters go first. Yes, it is Hare's turn. Okay, so... If the monsters yeah. went first, they would have gone before the hero. No, anyway. I, I, mean, I mean, like, unless oh, they go on, before hang the Hang on, hang on, guys. What? It's fine, it's fine. Sure. Sorry, Mom. Um, right. Brandon, did you download the Dropbox thing that I sent you? That I sent everyone? Um, um yeah, I have Give like just the a second, guys. Stuff. Sorry, let me mute my mic for a brief, three seconds. Sorry, I'll be right back. Who goes yeah, after to... him? Uh, just have... sorry, just in, there's a Dropbox link just above the um, map thing, and that has like all of the faction information and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't think it has anything on like changelings. Does it? Uh, no, there is no changeling faction sheet, but there is a. Um, I'll send the unit list for you. Hold on, I'm re. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. Um. So one of the bad guys goes next. So. I'll just send this quickly there. So, is everyone enjoying it? Am I doing okay? Yeah, yeah, you're doing fine, dude. Yeah, yeah. you're doing great. Cool. I am and glad. You're being very fair, so that's fine. Mm. Uh, Meteor comes through the ceiling, uh, kills everyone. <laughs> well, balls. <laughs> what? Deals D100 cool. damage uh, times, times terminal velocity. Yeah, we, yeah, we're, we're 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 straight fucked. Good work, everybody. Good game. <laughs> GG. Uh, GG, motherfuckers. GG. <laughs> well, okay, but in all seriousness, what happens? That's the changeling uh, thing there for you. Okay, thanks. That will help a lot. It, so it doesn't like... really give. Yeah. Oh man, did I um, accidentally okay. decline that? Dang it. Fine, but... <laughs> did you? Dang it, I think I accidentally declined, uh, declined doing that. Wait, hold on, never mind. <laughs> Do any of you guys want it? Otherwise I'm just going to cancel it for uh, you. What is it? It's the changeling unit list, so all no, the no, different types of changelings it's, in this squad. As cool as that probably is, uh, it's fine to send it to, to, send it to Time Night. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... Um... It's not that big, so I'll, send it, I'll just send it to you guys. Well. Hey, everybody. Is he back what? yet? I hear him, but I don't know. Why does he have people in his house? God, what a social. I don't know. He's, yeah. he's actually he's in a uh, he's that's actually he's actually home. From he's what actually, I can gather, that's actually his parents. So, right. yeah, it sounds like his actual house. In I didn't realize he lived in Kibi Skane, which is a good neighborhood down here in Florida. That's like rich people neighborhood. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the thing. Um, why is there a there's a there's a snail next to um? Oh my god, you got all of that download thing. Yep. We but, we didn't uh, hear any of the words. We didn't. Quite... We didn't actually hear a lot until just like the very end there, where you said, "I'm gonna go back to my thing." Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, so continuing from where we left off. Uh, sorry. Oh your man, current it's hair. gonna take me for take forever I for them. Apologize. For Once it's finished, we do harder. I'll probably speed up for you. Load.
Anyway, um, so I have to make okay, a so willpower test. I don't know. It just felt like doing. Maybe it's because it's downloading slowly or something. I don't know. Anyway, so before I do anything, so um, am I fighting back or is it a very dangerous situation? Because according to the book, it's I need a different willpower test depending. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, I did just kind of cut straight into the middle of a guy's leg, so yeah, you can like assess the situation the bone, probably. Based, la based on that. So would that be a dangerous situation? I need to know because it's a different willpower test. It, probably quite a different, uh, probably quite the dangerous situation. Okay, so it's a off. difficult willpower test then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what, is what that am I rolling? Against? 1d10 plus uh, willpower. Yeah. 1d10 plus willpower. <laughs> Magic. Okay. Yep. Alright. Oh, now I wasn't ready. Okay. Okay, that's 10 total. Uh, plus willpower is 10 total? Yeah, 10 total. God, what does that mean? I don't understand the fear stuff. Okay, for a fear test. Yeah. Hmm. Let me. Let's consult the. the uh, let's consult the dictionary of do Okay. Mod. So, the way fear tests work. Try to remember off the top of my head while I open up the thing. Uh, roll d10. Uh, you uh, are adding willpower. You're trying to beat nine. If you get under nine, with willpower, uh, you know, plus uh, you know, five of you have uh, nerves of steel. Then you have failed your willpower test. And then you roll again right, so if to find a... out the effects of said willpower test roll. Okay, but but I rolled a 10. Which yeah, is about you, a wrote a, you wrote a 10, so oh, you're, fine. you're fine. He's yeah. completely fine, yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay, really... make your move. Okay, so I can act you look now. At, you look at these creatures and you see one get its leg cut off and you go, I am not afraid. Fear is the mind killer. Well, I'm more a swallow... My pride than anything else, really. You more, you more of like swallow your own vomit. Yeah, um, pretty much. And so, Iron Chief is holding one of the guys, right? Yes. Has yep. that done damage to him, or is he just like pinning yes. him down? Significant damage. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I, I think I'll try to finish it off by body checking it. <laughs> okay, so it's um. One th uh, page one three one is uh, where the fear table is. If we ever run into that again, I've, I've got it printed out on. Um, oh, okay, cool. Okay. Because I have the conspiracy X, uh, like DM, oh, uh, like the uh, game masters uh, sheet thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a really good one. And they're all, it's all basically the same numbers. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Everything. It's, it's all Unisystem, so it's all the same yeah. basically. So anyway, I want to roll to body check him, right? Yep. Wait, okay, hold on. Which so one are you trying to check? Um, the guy Iron Chief's holding down. The, the one I'm currently holding on to, you want to, like, pull him away from me and then body him? No, I want to body slam him while you're still <laughs> okay. holding him. Alright, so, yeah, alright, go go for it. Okay. Hitting him while he's down. Like a real zombie, man. Zombie cam, which roll is that? Uh, roll, uh, 1d10 right, plus dex. Brawling or, uh, or martial arts. 1d10 plus skill. I have brawling. Would that count? That would count, yeah. Okay, wow. so... Uh, if I say brawling or martial arts, then yes, brawling does count. Okay. Give me something to eat. Okay. Ooh. Um, okay, I rolled a 13. Total. What I... What right. am I... It's definitely going to hit. Okay. Um, you... Slam down onto, I suppose, this guy's back, which is not being hugged by Duhard. Yeah. Uh, do you intend to hurt him or pin him down? Hurt him. Okay, then roll um, a d4 times strength. Okay, d4 times strength. Let me actually get out my d4. <sighs> d4 times three, so that will be... Nine damage. 
Okay. He looked very sorry for himself. All right. Is he the last one alive, or...? No, one... the other two are still alive. Okay. Why I don't think hitting... one of them has even Why... been attacked. So you decided to hit the guy who I already have in, you know, a hold, rather well, than hey, either of the a... people who are still a threat. Well, because hey. his character is a complete wimp. True. See? Yeah, there there you go. Nero gets it. Coward. All right, well, now it's time for the people you didn't attack to uh, stab us. Yeah, well, see, I attempted Well, to except hit. for that one guy who's writhing in pain on the ground with a sword stuck in his leg. Assuming he isn't a yeah. zombie. It's like okay, the so... it's like the hin the freaking Honoka ending in uh, Yandarella. Well, there's anyway. definitely fresh blood pouring out of his leg. So okay, that's, that's a good he's point. not a rotting corpse. Yeah, so um, anyway. He is that's screaming in pain Whoa. as well, might I add. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, screaming. All right. So, and my guy is just completely uh, <laughs> chuckling at it. Okay, the the. Uh, strange pony creature that uh, has a knife advances on sorry which one did you attack G-Money? The one with the bottle. Okay. So the one with the bro uh, with the uh, small knife uh, which is the one who had his leg cut off. No, I cut off the off. leg of the one with the small knife. Yeah, that's, that's what that's I said. What we just said. Yeah. Oh, it, it yeah. isn't cut off, it's broken and gushing blood. Yeah, yeah. It's um, pretty bad. He, it's not great. As much as he's screaming, he sort of seems unaffected in a way. And he just sort of turns to uh, Nero's character. And. So, which, which leg did you cut as well? The I cut left his leg. left. Yeah, I cut his okay, left. He's holding it in his right. So, he's just going to try and stab you in the jugular. Oh, shit. All oh, right. So, since you are pretty much directly in front of him, negative well, five getting... to a hit. Well, he's getting he's fucked. Gonna... <laughs> okay, so my roll is d10 plus what plus what? Dodge plus dexterity. All right, so that's bad. I got a total Two of eleven. Two oh boy. Does he beat 11? Oh, this uh, is so no, he know. does not. Yeah. All right. Uh-oh. No, that's a good thing. Very, na- yeah. Very narrowly, uh, Nero's Very character manages nearly. to mm-hmm. shift his, uh. ne- his head to the side ever so slightly so that this direct uh, stab towards your throat misses. Oh wow! Um, Jesus. Now it is the broken ball other crazy bed. person's turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the one with the broken bottle is going to spin around as well and try to, uh, sure. yeah, cut along G Money's side with this broken bottle. Ah oh, man, I'm excited. Yeah. I love pain. Pain <laughs> without love, pain. I can't get enough. Uh, that is an oh, old. Sounds song. like my sex life. Anyways. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Uh, that'd almost be depressing if I didn't find it so funny. Oh my god. Anyway. See any roll, please. I, I know that's a horrible thing to say, but whoever said You're I was a nice person. You're rolling the dodge. Oh, I'm rolling the dodge, right. Whoops. Yeah. Dex plus dodge. D10. Okay. Um, did you get the pictures, Brennan? Oh, yeah, I got the pictures, and I'm looking at them. I rolled a 17. Oh. Total. You are very lucky, because that's the best roll that I've had so far. <laughs> um, he uh, yeah. 
Try again. No. Damn you, Skype. All right, Skype was being dumb for a second there. Bill's gonna be showing hey. back in. Ben. I'm back. Still missing our GM though, so that's a thing. Still waiting after all these years. Yeah, still waiting after all these. God damn it, hair, pick up the goddamn phone. All right, and we're almost back in total. We're just missing what? G Money and Zombie Cam. What in the G world? G Money that? being one of the more important people. Sorry, Zombie Cam being one of the more important people to do. God damn it. Hang up and call Zombie Cam again because he appears to be having trouble picking up. Yeah, there we go. Yep, still just missing Zombie Cam. The. Last That's kind of funny. Oh, of course that would have it to our All right, there Sorry. we go. GM, yeah. last person to pick up. Okay, so where Sorry. were we? Oh. 